Idonius's Apology Item Number SCP-2023 Object Class Safe Special Containment Procedures A perimeter is to be established around the hillside area surrounding the origin point of SCP-2023. Security personnel assigned to the containment of SCP-2023 are to maintain the guise of a team of archaeologists overseeing a historical excavation and restoration process. Any unauthorized persons attempting to enter the perimeter are to be turned away with the explanation of keeping the area undisturbed. Description: SCP-2033 is a localized phenomenon that occurs approximately 7 kilometers from the city of Enna, Italy. SCP-2023's point of origin is a cave, located near the banks of a small lake surrounded by hills and cliffs. The cave appears to only be visible if approached on foot. SCP-2023 consists of the spontaneous appearance of various wildflowers at the mouth of the cave, spreading outwards a distance of two meters and apparently growing directly out of the surrounding stone. The most numerous species include white asphodel, asphodelus albus, and various types of narcissus including Poet's Narcissus, Narcissus Poeticus, Angel's Tears, Narcissus Triandrus, and Wild Daffodil, Narcissus Pseudonarcissus. Close inspection reveals that the flowers are not composed of organic material, but rather thinly cut and delicately arranged precious gemstones. The jeweled flowers produced by SCP-2023 disintegrate if touched, and disappear after a period of two to three days, roughly 48 to 72 hours. No remains or traces are left on the ground when the flowers disappear. Though SCP-2023 occurs intermittently and unpredictably, a significant variant of the phenomenon has been observed yearly at the onset of the autumn season. SCP-2023's range will extend to approximately 5 meters, and the flowers will be accompanied by non-native lesser batwing butterflies, Atrophenera idoneus. Both will remain until snowfall begins in the mountains of the surrounding province, Sicily. At the advent of the first frost, any wind that passes through the area will trigger vibrations in the flowers, resulting in the gems producing melodic tones similar to human vocalizations. This anomaly will cease by the next morning. Addendum SCP-2023-1 Though the cave of SCP-2023's initial manifestation has been investigated, no significant interior features, e.g. tunnels, caverns, have been discovered beyond the cave's entrance. However, the rock wall facing the cave opening was noted to possess the following inscription, translated from Greek, carved into the stone face. This is the only life I can hope to offer. Lend me your smile and tears a while. You outweigh the long days of darkness. Beloved, dear queen, please continue to return. The gates to the world below will always open to you, whether you enter or leave them. Additionally, small fragments of metal were found scattered on the cave floor, Lab analysis indicated the metal to be high-purity iron. Addendum SCP-2023-2 On 17th of July, 2003, at midday, SCP-2023 manifested only one jeweled species of flower, common hyacinth, Hyacinthus orientalis. Throughout the late afternoon and early evening, native butterflies of various species were noticed carrying small sprigs of thyme to the entrance of the cave. The herbs disappeared after nightfall. 